Hi there, I'm AlexD. We are entering Hub 4. While Hub 1 was uh, the one that includes Nylevas Falls, kind of. Um, the Sacred Passage and the entrance to Dark Arena. Uh, Hub 2 is actually comprised of three maps, which is Harabed Village, Norks Elbow, also, this music was later used in Nox Elbow instead. This is why this music track is known as 4th or Hub 4. In the beta it was known as New MCA 5, MCA uh, being a, well, short for the heal London boss, the composer of this track. And actually Hub 5 uses New MCA 4, so it's kind of... Uh, New MCA 4 is hub 5 and New MCA 5 is hub 4 situation, uh, which is probably why in DOT's conversion of these two maps the tracks are actually swapped and it's, it's not exactly great. So this conversion once again is more faithful to the actual data. Anyway, uh, where was I? I derailed kinda. Uh, this conversion calls this map Resistance Lake. I am not sure if I should uh, pay attention to that. Anyway, we start in some weird uh, corridor with no way whatsoever of entering it in this exact location. It just kinda is there. There is nothing going on over here. It has absolutely no reason to be here. Uh, it was probably supposed to be... Oops. It was probably supposed to be one of the entrances to wherever. Actually, I am going to just jump into the water. Uh, watch out for any fish or squids. Is this a dead end? Uh, I just want you to notice something. This dead end, this particular dead end... Uh, I think this is where you start. Uh, what was the name? No, it's not Nagomi Passage. Uh, the Spire Valley. Yeah. This map was actually repurposed in uh, the Mission Pack 1, also known as Return to Napoli. This is the only Mission Pack, so. Yeah, in the U Pack. Sometimes it's known as the U Pack. Uh, yeah, there is no tower over here, there is no Sun Spire brush, naturally. Uh, well, basically this map has nothing whatsoever. Uh, just a few enemies to fight and many, many, many changes. For one, it has whatever this is, whatever this weird uh, bridge is. I mean, it's probably the weirdest bridge I've ever seen. But okay. Um... We'll talk about that later, which is uh, first things first, we're just going to explore the map. Well, this area uh, in the U-Pack, it had a pond, a titan, a few houses and a tower to snipe the beast from. Uh, this one has this massive uh, mercenary ship and a few mercenaries to fight. Hi guys! Oh. Okay. Uh, we've killed pretty much the only enemies in this level. Uh, this ship is just there for show. It was probably uh, supposed to be one of the levels you could enter. It's really cool. But it's completely inaccessible. It's just there for eye can candy, I assume. It's <laughs> well, <laughs> the ship is. It's fit perfectly in this small area. Well, small comparatively, com comparatively said. Uh, it's well detailed. Cool textures all around. 
kind of generic, but still, yeah, that's it was carved with a lot of love. Uh, it's a damn shame it's nowhere to be seen in the final game or in the expansion, even if it's just a mover that flies around. Uh, it, was, it, it would be really cool to see again. Anyway, from here we can go up there, a few towers, if you remember. Over there, a few boulders and another titan fight. Let's check out this side first. Okay, something is funny here. Well, uh, no tower and also, of course, no uh, sky elevator in the water. In the U-Pack version of this map, uh, the Sky Elevator apparently was set, uh, was used by a, a couple of humans, and well, they chose to use it in a storm, and this did not end well for them. Poor bastards. Okay, this is new. Instead of there being uh, like a church with an eight ball in it, we have some new structures which we are going to check out now. Um, also, funny thing, uh, if it's gonna work in with this version of the dispersion pistol. I'm not sure if, that, if that's exclusive to the dispersion pistol, but... Uh, as you can see, underwater the projectile gets slower and slower until it just stops dead. This is how the projectiles look. You can't hit it. I think the game engine actually precludes you from being hit with your own projectiles. Oh, it just disappeared. It just disappeared. Good to know. Okay, so this is another mercenary ship, judging for, by the uh, gold team logo from Unreal Tournament 99. This is actually the mercenary logo seen in... Uh, I think it's seen in the Tyraniax, I can be wrong. Okay, we'll try not to drone there. It's kind of cramped. It's well detailed, as you can see, but I just need air. Okay, uh, some textures are here, terribly worn, but... Okay, I'm starting to drown, but there is some air over there. Okay, we arrive. Uh, there is nothing to do here, unfortunately. Unfortunately, uh, this ship is just there for eye candy purposes. Nothing else. So yeah, this is the engine room. It has all the details. Animated textures. Lighting. Ambient sounds. Some untextured crates. Well, not untextured, but the texture is definitely wrong over here. Some animated textures again, some not animated textures. And I'm gonna start droning. Unfortunately. This is a cool ship. It's a shame that it also gets no use in the retail. This isn't the only thing that is never seen again outside this beta. There are a lot of things on this map alone and also several maps are nowhere to be found in the released version. As I said, some of these maps got uh, repurposed, uh, re remade or just almost completely intact in the U-Pack uh, with little to no changes. Uh, some of the changes being replacing q pay with uh, the spiders. So they just uh, replaced uh, original small critters with Upac's own small critters. Oh, by the way, check out this 
volcano. We are going to get there soon, but for now, we're gonna have some more interesting things to watch out for. Whatever this is. So, two mercenary ships. And also, whatever this is. Whatever this could be. It has completely... Well, almost completely nothing to its name. It has three flashlights, and you can only carry one, and three... Uh, flares. Maybe it was supposed to be some kind of dark temple or whatever, but it's it's pretty much unknown what was this supposed to be. Uh, except I could say that those blue and red uh, rock textures kind of look familiar. Uh, those probably got reused in uh, uh, Tomb of Sesmar in Unreal Tournament. Maybe. I mean, those games basically share all the textures. Well, except those that were made specifically for Unreal Tournament, of course. So, yeah, instead of the church, we have whatever whatever that, all of that is about. And, okay, let's check uh, the part where we fight the... Titan again. As you can see, as you can probably tell already, it has some resemblance to what we see in the final version. Uh, this volcano, though. I hope YouTube grabs this shot. And I mean, yeah, it's really cool and dramatic. Sometimes YouTube takes cool screenshots for the previews, but other times it just uh, picks whenever explosions or blood splatters I could find. Uh, well, that's not gonna work. Lava here for some reason. All right, I just touched the arbitrarily placed trigger, and this happened. There are jump boots to jump over there and grab the goodies. And the goodies, in this case, well, it would be useful uh, over there as well, but. It's gonna be more useful over here. So we just unlocked one of the level exits from this hub, which actually takes us uh, to our final destination. Okay. Oof. much to talk about over here. Uh, I mean, I'm trying to jump over there, but there is nothing placed in there, probably, most likely. Anyway, um, we can now swim in here. Some seaweed, some details. Somebody really, really, really did a good job carving all of those rooms walls. One is left to wonder why? This is pretty basic. Oh, a fish! Aren't you a sore for my eyes? I messed it up, but yeah, I am not really happy to see the fish over here. Black shells. 
Okay, this is interesting. This is interesting. I don't remember if this is also one of the exits from the map. I guess we'll see about that. No, that's not the exit from this map, but it's a cool secret which... Contains a shield belt. And also in the beta I think it contains a translocator, but I might be wrong. Uh, no, I'm I'm wrong. It contains this here dampener. It's pretty much useless in this game. Well, in single player that is. Well, it's not entirely useful in multiplayer either. Okay. So, we got the dampener and the shield belt. Unfortunately, we are going to spend almost entirety of our scuba gear. Which we got for this reason alone. Which is too bad because... Then again, exploring that crashed mercenary ship uh, rewarded us with nothing but eye candy. Eye candy is a good reward, if you ask me. So the trigger was kind of over there. I was trying to find it and yeah, well, that happened. Okay, gonna, gotta remember that. So, this level has two exits, as far as I remember. Maybe more. Probably two. Okay, this one is exit, like exit, exit. Go there, and you're, you enter a different hub. If you remember, that's probably the Nagomi passage. And well, we are going back to that weird, funny bridge because that would lead us to one of the probably more more interesting maps of the beta which appears not, not nowhere in the final game and is not repurposed in the mission pack maybe they had plans for mission pack 2 because well given uh, the mission pack was named mission pack 1 yeah that checks out uh, Yep. Maybe they wanted to, well, release another mission pack which would uh, reuse more cut beta content. Almost, almost got got there, but unfortunately, uh, not falling into that is not the intended way to progress because. What you have to do is absolutely fall into this hole. Into this purple liquid stuff, whatever that is. But we are going to enter one of the more interesting maps in my opinion. It has... Whoop. This is forever. It's not like the previous room wasn't a point of no return. Alright, anyway, see you in the next video. It's gonna get interesting.